drop bombs like my name Saddam. I go to war like I was made for Nam. A street. Hello, I am the um, Brian, or you can just call me Brian for short, and I am back with another vlog for you. Now, today's vlog is going to be very, very special because this was requested by fellow vlogger, the vegan noob. So, I'm going to return the favor and do a little 90s tag of my own. Now, what I'm going to do is, I have a list of questions that she has provided for me, and they all have to do with the 90s, a time period that I got to grow up all the way through, one of the proudest moments of my life, and this is basically just a nice little walk down memory lane for me. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of props behind me. Stuff from the 90s that toys, shows, you know, stuff like that. As you can see here, <laughs> little toy of mine. So what do you say we get started, shall we? Question number one. Favorite TV shows from the 90s or your childhood? Well. Let's see, I grew up with a lot of favorite TV shows, and uh, one of them, of course, was Rocco's Modern Life, my all-time favorite cartoon. Now, as you can see, I got the complete series on DVD right here, but I, I grew up with a bunch of cartoons, a bunch of sitcoms, like cartoons, for example, again, Rocco, The Rugrats. Hey Arnold, Doug, uh, let's see, what else, Cat and Dog, that kind of deal. Sitcom wise, I, Full House, Family Matters, Married with Children, uh, Tales from the Crypt. I did watch that show when I was a little kid. Freaky. You know, and it just, I, I had a bunch of favorites to watch, you know. And I still watch them, of course, to this very day, you know, because, hey, I love them that, that much. Question number two, your favorite toys from the 90s? Well, of course, as you can see right here, well, of course, my wrestling figures, you know, my, my WWF wrestling toys, my, my WWF wrestling ring that I could put them in to to do my little matches and everything, so, uh, those were, I could say those were probably my favorite toys right there, were, were my wrestling figures. Question number three, your favorite commercial slash advert, my favorite commercial, now, I don't know if it was from the 90s, but it, it is from my childhood, and I'll never forget it. It's my all-time favorite commercial, and it was a Toys R Us commercial. And what it was was, it was about a dad and three of his and three uh, his three children. And everywhere they go, the children are playing with things that aren't toys. Like in the first scene, they're playing jump rope with a garden hose, and the dad's like, "Hey, that's not a toy." And then. In the next scene, they're uh, playing catch with a with a vase. He catches it. He's like, "Whoa, that's that's not a toy." And then the next scene, they're jumping on a mattress, and he runs to him. Hey, that is not a toy. And then they go to the uh, Toys R Us. And he's like, "All right, now you see that? Those are toys." And then it shows them running around. Uh, getting what they want, music is playing, and then it shows the Toys R Us logo at the end. And then after that, they're in the line checking out and everything, and the father's playing with the price scanner, and the, the cashier lady takes it from him. She's like, sir, that's not a toy. <laughs> but it, it's just a funny commercial, you know, and I've, I've always loved it, and I loved it every time it came on, and we all... We all had that thing happen to us anytime we're playing with something that we're not supposed to and your parents, hey, that's not a toy. <laughs> so that kind of reminds me a lot back when I was growing up and everything. Question number four, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? NSYNC, of course, because that's where Justin Timberlake came from. One of my all-time favorite artists. Don't tell no one. 
Question number five. Your favorite music. Well, I really didn't have a favorite music like I do now. Of course, I listen to anything today. Back when I was a kid, I listened to anything. So, uh, yeah. But I will give an example. Back when I was a little boy, my mother used to listen to a lot of Dwight Yoakam when I was a kid, and I was pretty much obligated to listen to him, and I just grew to love him, and now I listen to him today, ever since then. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that, that helps. Question number six, weirdest fashion trend? Don't really recall any. All I remember was a t-shirt and jeans. I don't remember any fashion trends. I remember the fanny pack. That's about it. I don't know. Question number seven. Your favorite collectible. Do rocks count? Number eight. Favorite beanie baby. I did have a beanie baby at one time. It was a it was a little monkey named Sino. <laughs> Question number nine. Your favorite game console and game. My favorite game console, of course, that was that was the Super Nintendo. And my favorite video game for that was, of course, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I know I've probably told that to y'all before, but that is still the coolest game of all time. Number ten. Your favorite book. Goosebumps, of course. I love Goosebumps, and I know I got some Goosebumps books laying here somewhere, and I still read those to this day. My favorite book from that series was Calling All Creeps. That is the most, that was the best uh, book from that series ever, and you just gotta read it to believe it. It's that good. Number 11, favorite candy slash sweet. Well, I'm not much of a candy eater, you know, but if I can remember, my favorite candy, of course, has always been Twizzlers. I love licorice. <laughs> Alright, number 12, favorite game, and it could be, example, a board game or a game you used to play outside. Well, a board game? Monopoly, maybe? And like maybe for like outdoor games me and my friends back in my old neighborhood we played a bunch of goofy games like I remember one game where it was basically what we do is my sister she would play the witch and the rest of us we would play a bunch of uh, little kids going trick-or-treating and stuff and we'd go up to my sister who was playing the witch we would go up to the house but it was really a back porch We'd knock on the door and everything, and my sister would answer, of course, you know, and she'd give us our candies and everything, and then just when we're, just when we're about to leave, we all turn around, about to be on our way. My sister would grab one of us and everything and shut the door and everything, and then after we would, like, walk away from the house and everything, we'd realize to ourselves, like, hey, a minute. Wait, 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 where's, where's Max, you know? We would just, and we would make up fake names as well. So we'd be like, hey, where's Max? And then we decide we'd go back to the witch's house and we'd knock on the doors like, hey, have you seen our friend? We haven't seen him since we last left here and everything. And my sister would be like, what does this friend of yours look like? And we describe him and everything. And she'd be like, nope, never seen him. Then we'd decide to go search out a little more and then we'd all turn around and then she'd snatch another one of us up and everything and shut the door and then we realize, wait a minute, you know, uh, now where's Diana? And then we'd go back and basically, you get it with me, then, then we'd realize the witch is the one who's stealing all of us. <laughs> Goofy game. And another game we used to play was we'd all get in a swimming pool and, uh, one of us would be outside of the pool and we'd be stirring it and we would pretend that the pool was a giant vat of soup and we the one the people that were in the pool we were pretending that they were getting cooked and now the last question is your favorite happy meal toy i can't really recall a happy meal toy 
I do remember back, I mean, in Happy Meal Toy, I know it probably has to do with McDonald's and everything, but let me think. I do remember, like, the little toys that were like, they looked like the foods and everything. They looked like the foods. And they were toys, and I think they could, like, turn into something else. They looked, they were kind of like Transformers in a way. I, I guess. I, I really can't recall a, a, a good Happy Meal toy. I do remember the Inspector Gadgets, where you would get, like, a piece of his, like, a limb, like, say, it would come like in separate pieces in every Happy Meal toy. You'd get, of course, the torso, you would get the arm or the leg, and every piece you got, you'd put them all together, and it would create like one giant doll, you know? And it would become Inspector Gadget. But I, I do remember those. Those are actually pretty cool. I didn't really get to complete the doll because they were already out of them, you know, and they moved on to the next toy. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are the questions for the 90s tag. I just want to say thank you to the Vegan Noob for coming up with this because it was so much fun. When she done it, she was causing so many great memories to go through my head at the time. It was a nice little trip down memory lane for me. And I knew when she done it, I had to do one just for her, you know, and for everybody else out there. So this has been a really fun experience to do. And hopefully the others who she tagged in for this little thing will actually do it as well coming up soon. Well, everybody, that pretty much wraps it up for this vlog. And you know the routine. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe whatever and i hope you've all enjoyed watching i am the i'm brian saying see ya